Hello, this is Chuck from Lake to Lake. I'm going to give you an uh, RV industry update for October of 2024. We're, we're going to include shipments and manufacturing, RV sales, local dealer, recalls, interest rates, and I have a special guest, so hang around to the end. Manufacturing for the August of 2024, the towable market, tra travel trailers or bumper poles, were up 13.5% a little over 21,000 units shipped. This is the cheapest way to get into camping. The units are smaller, lighter weight, and easily towable by an SUV or a small truck. That's why we see many, so many sales of the travel trailers. Fifth wheels, on the other hand, their sales are down 4.7% to a little over 4,400 shipped in August. Again, the fifth wheels, as we all know, requires a bigger truck, more investment, the bigger fifth wheel costs more money, the truck costs more money, again, limiting the amount of consumers that either want to pay that much or can even afford to pay that much. We all know that bumper poles um, can be extremely competitive on the lower end units. Uh, Pop-ups or folders, they're only 247 shipped. That, that's just a rounding error. And as, trunk, as far as trunk campers go, 291 shipped up 15.9%. Again, this, that's just a rounding error. When it comes to motorhomes, we got a little bit different story. Type A, the big diesel pushers, or the big, the big boy units, the ones that start about 150 grand and go up to, go, go up to the millions. They're down 37%. 530 shipped. Those have just gotten so expensive, especially with the, the high interest rates, that people aren't buying them and people aren't ordering them. And the manufacturers aren't making them and shipping them. That's your bottom line. Uh, type Bs, the vans, the, the converted vans, uh, their, their, their sales are down or shipments are down 41%, a little, a little over 680 of them shipped for the month of August. Um, that extremely popular trend seems to be waning off now and, and the demand as they had just a few years ago or even just a few months ago. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that trend can, continues. Type C, their sales are down the least. They're only down 22%. Uh, again, they're not down as much as type A's or type B's. A little over uh, 1,600 of them shipped for the month of August. That seems to be a little bit of a bright spot for the, the uh, motorhome side of the house. Uh, anyway, um, total all shipments year to date um, for 2024 are a little over 231,000. Uh, the shipments for 2023 were uh, 213,000 plus. So uh, a year-to-date increase of 8.6%. The monthly, month-to-month -month increase for August was up 3.7%. Now we're going to talk about RV sales. The most recent data we have is for July, and the, for the July sales were down approximately 9%. Um, and for the year, RV sales are down a little over 10%. While manufacturing is up and sales are down, this is a very, very troublesome trend that cannot continue very long. Dealers cannot keep accepting inventory that they cannot sell. This is not a good formula for RV dealers. Might be a good time, it might be a good time to go buy one, but it's not a good time to be a dealer right now. Touching on the used market price just barely, it appears that used RVs are down approximately 10%. And this just might be the, the season that we're getting into with the higher interest rates and in fall. I did a little research in the local market and I, I find it very interesting. I drove around the RV lots. The RV lots are packed with RVs, both new and used. There, there are a lot of new RVs sitting on the dealer lots right now. And they're packed in. It used to be you could drive through them. Now you can't. You got to get out and you got to walk through them. In fact, some of them are so close, they can't even open up the slides. There were 29 job openings available for all the RV dealers. And the oldest job posting was 11 months old. I'm not sure if they can't hire people to fill those jobs, or they can't keep people employed at those jobs, or as if my boss used to say, I retired from a Fortune 100 company. I always like to keep a couple job wrecks open just in case a reorg comes around, I got to lay some people off. And if I'd rather lose a couple job wrecks than a couple people, maybe that's what's going on in the industry. I really don't know. 
As far as the local inventory, um, I noticed there were um, seven models from the year 2023. There were 110 models from the year 2024. And there were 364 models from the 2025 year or brand new ones. I'd be very concerned about buying a two-year-old RV sitting on a lot. Um, I just, I, there's, I can't see any advantage to something sitting there for two years. The tires get uh, flat spots in them and bugs and mice and who knows what else uh, takes place inside that RV when it's sitting there vacant. But uh, I did find discounts up to 48% off new RVs. That's a very, very good sign for consumers. If you're in the market to buy an RV, I think it's it's pretty good. You got a lot of negotiating power right now, especially if you want to buy one of those 2024s. I'd stay away from the 23s. I went to the Overland Park RV show and I did not see very many people riding up orders and trying to buy RVs. I did notice a lot of a lot of lookers. I didn't see the excitement from the consumers trying to buy the products. I didn't really even see a lot of excitement from the salespeople trying to sell the units. A lot of the show discounts they sh they had advertised when I went out and looked online, um, they were the same price. There were no show discounts. They were they're just a big fancy sign, sale price, blah, 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 off, percentage off, blah, 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 monthly payments as low as blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? You get that whether you went to the show or not, that they weren't discounting them below the inter their their online prices and and they weren't selling that, that's just the bottom line. Speaking of interest rates, um, we did. I I did a look around the country for interest rates. I did find interest rates as low as five point two four percent. Generally speaking, most of uh, the finance companies were in the mid sixes, and I think interest rates will keep dropping. I think this drop in interest rate has given a little bit more excitement to the consumer, but I still think the inter interest rates need to come down to make the uh, RV purchases much more affordable. Recalls. There were 17 recalls from the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration. They included companies such as Forest River, Jayco, Winnebago, Alliance, Thor, Tiffin, Airstream. A more detailed list in the description down below. Overall, I think the uh, RV industry is pretty strong, especially for the consumers right now. Even though sales are down and manufacturing's up, that's going to put a glut of RVs on the market, which I think will in turn allow the the price of the RVs to come down, which will give it, and when the interest rates come down, I think we'll get a little st excitement in the marketplace. They're going to have to make up some deals because nobody's going to want to buy one in October and not take it out till May. So uh, it may be that springtime may be even some better deals, especially if the interest rates come down a little bit. Hello, this is Chuck and Mr. Raider, my grandson, who you haven't seen for a while because he's never been in one of my videos. Have you been in one of my videos before? Nope. I don't think he has either. Anyway, this is my grandson I talk to you all the time about. All right. Appreciate y'all watching this. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. We hope to catch you around the campfire sometime. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.